Sports is brought to you by Jim White Honda. Baseball players have a variety of options once the high school season ends. Some play travel ball, but some teams stick together to play summer Acme baseball. And although Acme ball has been around for a long time, the baseball landscape is always changing. Our Tyler Segerman has more from Defiance. For more than 60 years, Acme baseball has been a tool for ball players all over Northwest Ohio to learn and grow during the summertime. And even with other travel baseball leagues, sports and activities to choose from, this organization is continuing to put forth effort to better their product. Hey, twist, come on, twist it. There's nothing better than playing for your community and playing for your school. A platform to develop and represent carried forward from a dream that took place during the 60s. What's amazing about it, back in 1961, it started with my father, Lou Brunswick. Lou started, had a vision to give high school kids a place to play in the summertime because war veterans were coming back and um, there was no place for high school kids to play. That's no longer an issue, thanks to the Acme Baseball Congress. Uh, we call it our spring training. You know, we have a chance to play in the summertime and uh, be together. Dusty Peaster and the Miller City Wildcats are among more than 120 teams competing in Acme. Reduced travel and familiarity provide players a unique option during the summer. Which is what enticed all Ohio and soon to be defiant senior David Jimenez. Being around my friends is really a key part of my life. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be anywhere near where I am without them. I think it's important to grow because it's what you're going to see in the spring, right? I mean, travel ball, you're seeing kids from different states. You're not going to see them very much. Uh, so it gets you accustomed to what you're going to see and who you're going to be playing against. Kids have a lot of options in the summertime. They can um, play different sports, they can travel, they can, you know, but, but Acme Baseball gives us a chance to, to stay home, to play with their team that they're going to play with the next year and hopefully start building some of that chemistry. Acme itself is continuing to build. This season alone saw a change to boost recognition for players. We reached out to the coaches and the players and the parents the, this past uh, offseason and asked them what they wanted and that's one thing they wanted. But we're really pushing social media with uh, Twitter, a little bit of Facebook, but the, but the kids more like Twitter. Um, so we're trying to give them that exposure. Monday's junior Acme State Championship game drew the biggest crowd of the season, reaffirming the continued work of this Northwest Ohio organization. Our major focus isn't increasing teams, it's just making Acme better. The 2022 campaign will wrap up this weekend in St. Henry with eight teams vying to be called Acme State Champion. In defiance, Tyler Segerman, WTOL 11.